Considering living off the grid, here's what you need to know. The off-grid life has become more and more appealing to many individuals. A need for self-sufficiency, increasing utility bills, and a genuine desire for privacy are only a few of the factors individuals seek from owning sustainable off-grid homes. For some, it's the excitement of a new alternative to standard living and the desire to go off the grid and live solely by their own means. If you're planning to go off-grid, here are three crucial guidelines to help you get started. Finding the right location to live off-grid is critical. Although you can live off-grid to an extent almost anywhere, some areas are unquestionably more pleasant than others. In some places, off-grid communities have developed and offer some benefits from living in a more isolated area. Whichever location you choose, take these considerations into account. These are good questions to ask yourself when considering living off-grid. First and foremost, what kind of weather do you anticipate? Is the weather unpredictable? Are natural disasters likely to strike the area? What natural resources will be available in the area? Are there any natural habitats there? What are the conditions and quality of the land and soil? Is it possible to produce food there? Is the water table low enough for a basement to be built? What is the location of the closest water source? What is the average amount of rain in the area? Heating and water are essential when living off-grid. When living off the grid, producing heat is still a big challenge. Most challenges can be overcome by solar energy, but it would be impossible to heat an entire house if you only use deep cell batteries and photovoltaic panels. There are many kits available for off-grid solar installation, and batteries for off-grid solar are becoming more efficient each year. One such battery example is the Tesla Powerwall off-grid power source. When you make the decision to live off the grid, Many of the prized possessions that you own become completely useless. Perhaps even more interesting is the fact that the items you once felt were irrelevant instantly become more important. Of course, the advent of solar-powered water pumps made pumping water simple in sunny weather. But what about during long stretches of cloud cover? So what are you going to do? Fuel is required for generators. Hand pumps only need a small amount of effort. You can get water from a well using electricity if you use a hand-operated pump. Gardening and considering livestock. Going off the grid involves more than just detaching from city amenities like power and water. Starting to grow a vegetable garden will help you become much more self-sufficient. Fruit trees can be a choice to complement your growing, depending on your area. Don't forget about livestock. Chickens are easy to hold and produce eggs, and rabbits are another common off-grid small farm animal. They reproduce easily, produce meat, and are relatively simple to raise. Animal dung, as well as excess plant matter, can be composted to provide additional nutrients to the soil. Chickens can also consume garden bugs, and animal feces can be converted into fertilizer. Your garden can also be set up to be fully self-sufficient. This is a methodology known as permaculture. Simply put, permaculture gardening is a holistic approach to gardening. Cost of going off-grid. Some people may believe that going off the grid will save them money. In some cases, this may be true. However, it's important to remember the cost of setting up an entirely new way of living. Often the setup expenses can be high. Although renewable energy can be very cost effective, setting up new solar systems off the grid can cost $50,000 or more. Check out the solar panel off-grid calculator for more information. This video is intended to provide constructive advice for those considering an off-grid lifestyle. But if you're serious about doing so, you should check out more details. If you remember these pointers, you'll have a simpler time getting started and will have a good sense of what to do. Living off the grid is difficult, but the sense of self-sufficiency you gain is incredibly satisfying and gives you a sense of achievement. Leave us your thoughts on off-the-grid living in the comments below. Also, remember to like and share our video.